Hi guys! Why is windowing important? If we translate the Hounsfield scale to a ruler, it will look something like this. The zero will pertain to water, which we see as gray, while on the upper end, bone with a very high attenuation is seen as white, while on the lower dark end, air is seen as black. Soft tissue is seen here in the lower scale on the positive HU, while fat is seen on the other side. Now let's talk about windows. We have narrow window and a wide window. At the midpoint of these windows are the center, also known as the window level. The wider window that you have, the more pixels for the grayscale are displayed. The narrow window you have, the less pixels are displayed. So if you have a narrow range of pixels, you will have increased contrast. In other words, just a little change in the, Hans, uh, in the Hounsfield unit, there will be a marked change in its brightness. Therefore, a narrow window is best for checking tissues with similar attenuation values. For example, soft tissues are similar to one another, therefore, we use a narrow window. On the other hand, a wide window shows a wider range of pixels. Since it's so wide, a little change in household unit may not be too obvious. Hence, there is decreased contrast. A wide window is best for tissues with markedly different attenuation, attenuation values. So, for example, checking the lungs versus the bronchi or the airway. A long window has a wide window of 1,500. Note that at its midpoint is the center. So since the center is placed at the midpoint, there are 750 Hounsfield units to its left and 750 Hounsfield units to its right. Now, let us set this center at the designated window level of negative 600 Hounsfield units. The window will now be placed here. Now this setting will allow will now show all the structures with the Hounsfield units within the range of this window. And this range can be calculated by taking the window level here and add and minus. 750 Hounsfield units on each side. So let us now adjust the ruler on this scale since the upper part here should reflect 150, 150 or positive 150 Hounsfield units which should be right here. There. So all of the structures with the Hounsfield units lower than this value will be displayed as black, while all the structures more dense than 150 Hounsfield units will be displayed as white. For example, in this long window, bone has a much higher Hounsfield units than 150, hence it's homogeneously white. We cannot see the details of the bone, hence we cannot examine it using this long window. Air here has a very negative Hounsfield unit and will be displayed as black. 
Mediastinum, which is con uh, composed of soft tissues, is displayed as white. But when we switch to a soft tissue window, which is centered at a positive Hansfeld unit of 350, the mediastinum is now gray and can now be assessed. So why use windowing? Changing the windowing allows us to change the contrast and therefore highlight the abnormality. Failing to use the proper window may lead us to miss out findings, which could have been ma made more obvious using the correct window. So for tissues with similar attenuation values, like in the brain, the liver, or soft tissues, we use a, narrow, a relatively narrow window width. And for tissues with markedly different attenuation values, we use a wide window width. That's it. Thank you for listening.